Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, welcome. Glad you are here. And if you don't know, my name's Daniel. I'm Jennifer. And we are Cherish, Cherish the, the Journey. Journey. Today, we are going to be talking about part two of our camping checklist. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is part two of our camping checklist video. If you missed part one, be sure to click, click the link in the description below to view part one. Um, there's a lot of important information in there. And we're also begin, going to be giving you a lot of important information on this one. So first piece of information for a camping checklist is blankets. Daniel and I love our blankets, especially when we're camping, and we feel like you can never have enough. Yep. So usually when we camp, we have about maybe five to eight blankets just for the two of us and then we have buddy of course who uses his own blanket maybe one or two so we pack plenty of blankets we like to lay them over our legs or curl up with them when we're by the campfire and then of course we cover up with them at night um, they're just nice and comfy to have mm -hmm. um, so that's the first part of a camping checklist is making sure that you have blankets the next part which is important for us is your cups you want to make sure you have a coffee cup you want to make sure that you have, if you desire to have a can koozie, you want to make sure that you have a can koozie for your soda, mm -hmm. uh, for your sparkling water, for your beer, whatever you choose to have in there. And then that can also be used as your liquor drink too. If you have a cocktail or if you just like to drink whiskey or whatever you may have, you can also use that to drink those as well. Um, if you want to just use red solo cups, of course that's fine too. Um, but just make sure you have a variety of different cups because it's nice to be able to use different cups for different kinds of beverages and your drinks and things like that when you're camping. Um, so that's also something very important to us. Particularly just what we recommend if you're new, just a hot cup and a cold cup. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you don't have Yeti cups or you don't have all that stuff, um, just red solo cup and maybe styrofoam cups. Um, they work great as well. Next on our camping checklist, something that's really important is making sure that you have a camping trash can and proper bags, bags that fit inside that camping trash can. Um, now, if you don't have a tr camping trash can or you don't wanna get one, please make sure at night before you go to bed that you're putting your trash either in your car or in your truck, whatever you are camping in. If you're tent camping and you have a truck or if you're even, um, even if you're going out in an RV or a trailer, you can always bring that trash inside there. Daniel and I don't do that because we honestly don't want the inside of our camper to smell. So we have a camping trash can that we close up at night when we go to bed. But if you don't have that, like I said, it's a great idea to put that in your car or your truck because the smell of trash can attract wild animals. And I don't know about you, but I don't want wild animals coming through my campsite in the middle of the night when I'm trying to sleep. So um, just be more conscious and aware of that. One of the things when we were camping at a state campground, mm -hmm. we actually forgot to zip up our camp trash bag and we had a skunk come in. Inside our trash. And it was digging it actually because it can compress down and whatnot. So the skunk was actually able to get into it, pull things out, and then we had a whole mess on our hands. So make sure you zip up your trash can at night. Mm -hmm. um, typically, if they, they're pretty good, um, they're not bear proof. So if you're in an area that has bears, then you definitely want to put that trash can in your truck or bring it into your trailer. Another really important thing um, when you're camping is making sure that um, it might be a good idea to have portable chargers for your phones. Um, a portable car ch battery charger or even an extra battery for your car on hand just in case you are charging a lot and your battery in your truck or your car dies. Um, yeah. Then you have to wait for roadside assistance or you have to wait for a friend or whatever you guys are going to do to get help. You're going to have to wait for that. So it's a good idea just to have all that extra stuff on hand. Make sure that you're being really safe and really cautious about um, just that kind of stuff. The next thing is um, 
something Daniel and I just recently bought, which is kind of cool for us. It's a little table that you can set up and it has two little cup holders. So you have a table for your cups and you can also put your phones on there or whatever else you may have near you when you're sitting around the campfire or whatever you may be doing. So that's something that we really like, that we really enjoy is our, is our, uh, our cup holder table is what I call it. It can collapse mm -hmm. small down, um, just like the chairs we bought here. Mm -hmm. We bought, um, we went to REI and got these camping chairs mm -hmm. and they're just real small, compact, lightweight. So if you're looking for that for your, um, for size wise and everything else um, for camping, it's just, it helps with minimal space impact. I think they're our new favorite chairs. Um, they're just easy to take with you. So if we're camping and we go down to the lake, we just fold them up real quick, throw them in the bag, take them down to the lake. It takes like maybe two seconds to set them up. So super tear down and set up, um, very simple. Um, and then our drink table that we bought came from Bass Pro. Um, so you, if you live in an area where there's a Bass Pro, you can find it there. I think it was only like $15. Yep. So it was really reasonably priced for us. Um, you can probably find it on Amazon too. I'm sure, or online store somewhere. I'm sure Bass Pro has online and can ship anywhere. Yep. So if you really want to get it from Bass Pro, you can go on their website and find it there. Our next topic is making sure you have extra water. Yes. Uh, we bring a whole case of bottled water just for us to drink. And then we also bring jugs of water. So we have two five gallon jugs of water that we bring with us every time we go camping just to make sure that we are, just make sure that we have enough water and that we're not gonna run out. Um, for us, when we fill up our jugs of water, we fill them up just kind of anywhere because it's not water that we're gonna drink because we bring a whole case of water for that. It's just in case if we're boondocking and um, you know, like when you're tenting it and you wanna have water for your dishes, you need to clean your dishes, you need to have water for that. Or even for those of you that go out and you're camping in a trailer or an RV, if you're boondocking and you run out of water, it's always good to have that extra water set aside so you can put more into your water tank and be able to continue to clean dishes in your sink or do whatever you need to do, flush your toilet, things like that. So we always recommend extra water. The last thing we wanna talk about is propane, fire pits, buddy heaters. Um, propane tanks. Propane tanks, mm -hmm. make sure that you have plenty of propane that you filled up, that you didn't forget to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Put that on your checklist. Make sure that you got everything, your your propane's filled. How many bottles are you gonna take? Are you gonna take one big one? Are you gonna have multiple propane bottles? Um, do you have the small little, for the buddy heaters, they take the little green bottles as well? I think it's like, what, one gallon? Yeah, one gallon not, propane tank. I don't think they're in a gallon. But they're still, small, they're green. You can find them at Walmart. They're, the, or Coleman, you, the typical Coleman propane tanks. Mm -hmm. um, those are great unless you want to have a cord going to your buddy heater, which they do sell adapters mm -hmm. for those. But um, instead of trying to make a fire and smelling like smoke and all that. Having to uh, keep putting wood on the fire to keep it going. Yep. I mean, they do have solo stoves. They have all these, you know, mm -hmm. fire pits and stuff like that, but it's more space. You have to bring firewood with you. Yeah. This, I, it's a trade off. Um, yeah, you don't get the real fire sounds of crackling wood and whatnot. Um, get an app, put that on your phone. Play that while you have your propane fire pit going. There you go. <laughs> get the fire crackle sound yes. on your on your phone yes <laughs> all right i think that sums up our camping checklist um yeah, yeah. i know there's a lot but that's why we did a two-parter that way we didn't overwhelm you guys too much in one video um if any of you out there um, are experienced campers and you can think of anything that we forgot um, please comment down below or if you have any questions maybe something that we didn't address that you're wondering about please ask that down below and we will respond back to you yeah. so and I did get a question about the coolers in mm -hmm. our last video. Mm -hmm. And so I am going to be actually putting together a video of cooler comparisons. Mm -hmm. What is the best cooler out there? Mm -hmm. Is it the Yeti cooler? Is it a Coleman cooler? Is it the 
The Canyon nope. Cooler. Canyon Cooler. Is it a Rubbermaid? Is it the Walmart special $15? <laughs> $15 cooler. $15 cooler. I mean, I'm going to do a test out to see which one performs the best in Arizona. This is going to be in Arizona, so it's mm -hmm. going to be in the sun. Not really in the sun, mostly. But, but it's it, still pretty hot. But it'll still be outside mm -hmm. and looking, be looking for that video mm -hmm. um, coming up here soon. But make sure you guys stick around for next week's video. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when our videos come out because you don't want to miss next week's video. We had a mishap happen to us. And we did something a little crazy. So you're going to want to come back and check out what happened. Yep. So with that, give us a great big thumbs up in this video if you liked it, got anything out of it. Leave a comment below like Jennifer said if we missed something. And with that, always remember to cherish the journey and cherish the moments you're in.